Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well. In today's session, we are going to discuss a very interesting novel that is an American novel, The Last of the Mohicans, a narrative of 1757. Alright, so this particular novel was written by James Fenimore Cooper in 1826. And today we are going to discuss about the character list, the prime characters, because the characterization of the entire novel is very important from the examination perspective. We are going to discuss the entire summary. And overall, we'll also discuss the prospects of this novel in the upcoming exams of MEG 11 of your MA English course. Also, do hit the like button so that we can reach a wider audience and do consider to join our Facebook page and our Facebook group so that we stay connected because up there we update all the regular notifications of IGNO and relevant documents and PDFs of our lectures on a regular basis. Now, without wasting any further time, let's start with the video. For those who have a visual appetite for movies, I would highly recommend a particular movie from 1992. The title of the movie is as same as the novel, The Last of the Mohicans. So this particular movie has a great story plot as well as top notch music and direction and screenplay except for minor changes from the novel. I would highly recommend for those who want to enjoy themselves this novel, you go ahead and watch this movie. And now without wasting any further time, let's start with the character list of this particular novel. So the first and the most important character of this particular novel, The Last of the Mohicans, is Hawkeye. His actual name is Natty Bumpo and he is an expert marksman. And the unique quality about Hawkeye or Natty Bumpo is that he is of mixed race. Okay, so he represents both white and the Indian tribes. Then we have Chingakuk. Chingakuk is a very close friend of Hawkeye. And also Chingakuk belongs to the Mohican tribes. Okay. Then we have Ankas. Ankas is the son of Chingakuk who was romantically involved with one of the another character of this particular novel which led to his unfortunate demise. Now next we have Magua. Magua is the antagonist of this novel that means he is the main villain and he is a, actually a leader of the particular tribe called Huron tribe and unfortunately what happens is that he was humiliated by one of the character of this novel which led to the vengeance and which led to the slaughter of the british soldiers while their retreat we'll get to this while they're discussing the plot summary then we have colonel edmund munro and he is also the commanding officer of the british check post then we have two daughters of edmund munro that is cora munro and alice munro now cora and alice are both sisters but from different mothers that means Edmund Munro married a negro woman from west indies and from her he had a daughter kura Munro. so that explains her uh, dark complexion and raven hair and alice was particularly blonde okay then we have major duncan hayward and this person was romantically involved with alice Munro. then we have a, another person with the name tamanand who was the head of delavares group or tribe then we have the last character as General Marquis D. Moutcom. Now before jumping to the plot summary of this particular novel, let us talk about some of the key points of this novel. The Last of the Mohicans, a narrative of 1757, is basically a historical romance written by James Fenimore Cooper in 1826 in February. Now it is the second book of the Leather Stocking Tales, Pantology and the best known to the contemporary audiences. Now a very key feature of this particular novel that it has a sequel and it was published 14 years later in 1840. Now after knowing the characters in a discreet manner, let us see the plot summary of this particular novel. So the entire setup of this novel has been kept in late 1750s where we see that the French and the Indian war was gripping all in the frontier of western New York. Now the French army was basically trying to attack and occupy the Fort William Henry which was a British outpost commanded by Colonel Munro. Now as I mentioned that Munro's daughters were Alice and Cora, they were in a different fort that was Fort Edward. Now the entire story revolves around the journey of these two girls Alice and Cora escorted by some people from Fort Edward to Fort William Henry. Now the responsibility of escorting these two girls was given to Major Duncan Hayward who was later romantically involved with Alice and eventually in this journey they were joined by a person David Gummert. Okay, so this person was a singer and he was also a religious follower of Calvinism. Now this all these people were led by a particular person whose name was Magua. Okay, so he was the actually I mentioned it before that he was the head of the Huron tribe. Now this person had malicious intentions. He had 
a feeling of vengeance against the Colonel Munro. So he was actually misguiding the entire group, and this entire thing was exposed by White Scout Natty Bumpo, whom I have mentioned in the beginning, who was known as Hawkeye, and his two Indian companions, that is Chingakook and Angus. Now, before we proceed further, I would like to mention that please don't confuse when I say Indian people. Indian tribes means Indian Native Americans. Okay, so they were actually the original settlers. I'm not referring the Indian people here. They were also known as the Red Indians. Fine. Now Hawkeye, who was Natty Bumpo, he exposes Magua's intention. Hiron, who has betrayed the group by leading them into a dangerous place. Okay, so once he did that, so what happened is like uh, before they could capture Magua, he fled, and then the Mohicans, along with the uh, Natty Bumpo, they escorted the entire group to a nearby waterfall. But before they could continue the journey, what happened is that Magua returns with his Huron allies and he captures and he attacks by surprise. Okay, so what happens is Hawkeye and his Mohican friends, that includes Chingakkuk and his son Ankus, they fled away, they escape, and in the meantime, Magua was able to capture Alice, Cora, Hayward, and Gamut. Now, in this occasion, what happens is that Magua celebrates the kidnapping. Okay, and here we also see the main reason behind the hatred of Magua for the British people. So we see that when Hayward tries to convert Magua to the English side, Huron reveals that he wants and he seeks revenge against Munro for past humiliation and proposes to free Alice if Cora will marry him. So that was unacceptable for Cora because Cora was romantically and she was having romantic feeling for Ankus, the last of the Mohican. Okay, so the title of this entire novel was based on this character Ankus because he is the last of the Mohican, and after him the entire Mohican race. That means there are only two people left, and Ankus was the last surviving member of the Mohican tribe. So while this entire event was going on, what happened is that Hawkeye and the Mohicans burst into the scene and they were able to release the captives killing each and every hero except for magua who was able to escape once again okay so after a lot of you know problems in their journey they were finally able to reach the fort william henry where the daughters alice and cora was reunited with colonel munro now here we see the setup of this particular fort william henry which was under attack by the french now here we see that the British, uh, that means the commanding post was receiving no reinforcements and they were left with only one choice but to retreat and to surrender. In the same time we also see that Colonel Munro was accusing and uh, you know he was holding Major Duncan Hayward accountable of racism because he has chosen Alice over Cora because Cora was having dark complexion and raven hair and Alice was blonde. Now a few days goes by and the British forces, the English forces finally calls for a truce and while they were retreating what happens is that the Indian tribes the, which was aligned with the French they started a massacre okay, of the retreating English officers and in this entire slaughter Magua was again able to capture these people and he was able to recapture Cora, Alice and Gamut and escape with them into the forest. Three days later, Hayward, Hawkeye, and Munro and the Mohicans discover Magua's tail and begin to pursue the villain. Here, what happens is Gamet was able to escape from the you know captivity of Magua, and he was able to tell this particular group that Magua has actually kept Cora and Alice in two different camps. He has kept Alice in the Huron camp and Cora in a different camp. So Magua has actually kept Cora in a different camp that is a Delavarus camp and his basic intention was to marry Cora in order to seek vengeance and revenge with Colonel Munro. So what happens is that using deception and a variety of disguises the group manages to rescue Alice from the Hurons at which point Hayward confesses his romantic interest in her. As I mentioned in the beginning that Hayward was having, was having romantic feelings for Alice. At the Dilawar village, Magwa convinces the tribe that Hawkeye and his companions are their racist enemies. Ankas in the meantime what he does, he reveals his exalted heritage to Dilawar sage Tame Nunt and then demands the release of his friends. But as the rules of the particular tribe goes, Magwa departs with Korra. Okay, so a chase and battle ensue and Magwa and his Huron suffer painful defeat but a rogue Huron kills Korra. Ankas begins to attack the Huron who killed Korra but Magua stabs Ankus in the back. Magua tries to leap across a great divide but he falls short and must clinch to a shrub to avoid tumbling off and dying. Hawkeye shoots him. So eventually what happens by the end 
we see that Magwa, the main antagonist of this novel, dies. Okay, dies in the hand of the main protagonist, that is Hawkeye or Natty Bumpo, and he finally plummets to his death. Cora and Ankus receive proper burials the next morning amid ritual chants performed by the Delavares. Chingakuk, who was now left without his son, mourns the loss of his son, while Tame Nun sorrowfully declares that he has lived to see the last warrior of the noble race of the Mohicans. So this is the video guys. This particular novel is very close to my heart because I have watched this movie back in 90s and it has a very beautiful story as I mentioned that it's actually a historical romance which was very beautifully penned down by James Fenimore Cooper in 1826 of February. If you have any other doubts regarding this particular novel or any other particular question regarding this novel do feel free to comment in the comment section till I meet you next time. God bless you and thank you all.